YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. And we are here today with two of the Hot Sauce of the Month clubs from Heat Hot Sauce. It's March, these are January and February's. We've been busy, we're trying to buy a house, get over it. Yeah, it it's been a little rushed around here lately. Uh, did you say you wanted to pause these for a couple of months? I probably will. Um, we still got March on the way. We still have March on the way, but I currently am a little stockpiled on hot sauce, um, so I may pause them for a couple of months. Yeah, I'll decide. Um, some of the ones I, some of my collection won't survive the move. So most assuredly. So, but some, at least well, one thing's probably going to break. Well, there's You're also anything that's away. over like a, under about a quarter left. I'll probably just toss because it's not worth moving to a new house with it. Especially a house an hour away. Yeah. So. Anyways, we'll uh, see. is this the one with three? Yeah, there's three. Yeah, there's three. And these are the ones that come with the little cards that I really like. Right. Just try and remember because Fuego it's box is gone. The other heat hot sauce of the month club thing is gone. This is the one we decided to this stick. This is the with. one we decided to, to keep. I will insert price here because I have some. Ah! Fuck me! That was like spring loaded. Apparently, the joyride <laughs> wanted to take joyride. I guess it did. All right, so this is actually January's. I know that because I unwrapped the other one. Cool. Not that it really makes a difference, and it looks like we got an extra. Oh, one of the little ones. Yeah. That. That's cool. We can try or whatever. Anyways, uh, let's see. Joyride. Here we go. This is Big Fats jo Joyride Tangy Garlic Hot Sauce. That sounds really good. I like it already. Garlic long, hot sauces. As long as it's got salt to it. Anyways, tasting notes. The bright and tangy sauce with a ton, a ton of garlic along with sweet bell pepper, carrot, and fresh oregano. Habanero chilies provide just enough heat to, for a mellow kick without overwhelming the flavor. Great on eggs, burgers, or chicken enchiladas. This is what I mean by the cards. None of any of those damn beef enchiladas. Chicken enchiladas only. Hey, man. Oh, God, he got a mole sauce. <laughs> We've never had luck with mole sauces. It smells really good. It smells like garlic. It does. It we are a fan of the garlic. Yes. Oh, fuck. Mellow my ass. It is a little spicier than I would have expected considering the heat level on the card. Um, but it's good. We could use a little more salt, but it is not direly that lacking was the heat in level. salt. That is not correct. Um, it was not, it's not direly lacking in salt. No. It's good though. Good hit of garlic. Um, like I said, could use a little salt. But all in all, good stuff. I like garlic. Don't use it as a salt replacement. Yeah. Cause that's what, what is it? Like the Louisiana hot sauce? Pretty much. Half the time we just use it as a salt replacement and stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyways, next is Holy Mole Karma Sauce. If it's a mole sauce, I'm generally not a fan. Oh, I forgot to show it. Just throw it on the floor. <laughs> We're never going to eat it again, probably, so... Probably not. We, we have not been a fan of the mole sauces. Anyways, this tribute to a traditional Mexican mole, mole poblano is the first ever democratically conceived hot sauce. That sounds like a terrible idea for hot sauce. It really does. With the name and flavor voted on by a Chili Head Facebook group, butternut squash, seed oil, and Mexican chocolate combined with blackberry and plum to create a truly unique ass-sounding flavor. Blackberry and poblano. <laughs> mm. Great on carnitas, quesadillas, or grilled chicken. Mo, there is nothing up here I can give you. Something tells me it's not going to be great on anything. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Super thick. Oh, joy. It looks like poo, okay? It looks like poo. It smells like my way. <coughs> I wasn't actually gagging. <coughs> I got a big hit of pepper down my throat. Nah, I'm good. Um... It, it tastes like, you know, you took some blackberry juice and added some chocolate to it and then tried to make it spicy and... Yeah, it's not good. <clears throat> it's not good at all. 
And finally for this box, and then I'll have to get some more milk. We have the Yellow Bird Habanero Condiment. So it's actually in like a condiment bottle and everything. The last thing we got from them was pretty good. I think it was the Serrano Condiment. One of our most popular sauces, Yellow Bird Habanero, is a classic blend of orange habaneros, carrots, tangerine juice, and lime juice, creating a perfect blend of sweet, spicy, and tangy. See our websites for recipes for habanero roasted almond, habanero chicken tacos, habanero lime donuts, ew, and habanero onion rings. Uh, I think donuts can be good. You can make those on a day when I'm not here. I know habanero and pineapple go really well together. It's very thick. It's, well, it's, it's a condiment, not a hot sauce. It's about the, the consistency of like mustard. I should have ate this first. Is it, doesn't it have the highest thing as far as the card's concerned? Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Um, mustardy? A little, a little mustardy. Um, it's got a decent kick to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I, I would definitely like put it on a sandwich or something. Would you mind getting me another glass of milk? Yeah, I can do that. Luckily, doing it this way with only one box, we should really reduce our number of uh, dupes. Because the chances that they're going to send the same sauce in multiple boxes in a row is pretty low. Yeah. That was kind of the problem with having like three. Yeah, that, that definitely turned into an issue. I don't know how much I should go by this. <laughs> I got burned last time. Literally! Well, I mean, green is usually your best bet. Yeah, that's what it says on here, too. Here we have the Bravado Sp Spice Co. Creamy Herb and Jalapeno Hot Sauce. It says it's mild on the bottle, too. So. We've, we've definitely gotten uh, sauces from this company before. I don't really remember anything about them, but I know we've gotten... It's creamy enough that it's kind of going to be hard to shake. All right, so this sauce features savory herbs like oregano, parsley, and cilantro. Front and center, along with fresh jalapenos and garlic. The addition of olive oil provides a creamy consistency and red wine vinegar adds a unique tang. Great on salad, bruschetta, and ceviche. <sighs> My mouth hurts. The olive oil at the top is actually kind of making it hard to mix. I'm gonna say that looks gross. Yeah, well, it's not. I quite, know it's because of the oil. It's not but... quite mixed as much as it probably should be, but like it's filled enough in the bottle that I can't really get a great shake on it. She apparently doesn't care for it. Tastes like herb. There's a lot of herb to it. It's kind of got that little bit of a sour note that jalapenos can have to them. Uh, could use a little salt. Uh, I don't think it's terrible though. If you can use it, have like I can have use that. it in stuff. It's not something I'm ever gonna just pour. You know, honestly, yeah, it could probably serve as a mix in like spaghetti. Yeah, because there's enough herbage in it. But just on its own. Yeah, I mean, it's not something I'm ever gonna just be like, oh man, I want to eat this on my burrito straight. No. Anyways, next we have the pineapple lemongrass ginger from Peplish Provisions. Peplish, not a word. But probably easier to trademark. Oh, so. It might be a name. Inspired by a Cambodian chili paste, this sauce features pineapple base along with ginger, onion, and garlic. The finishing touch of lemongrass adds bright flavor and a dash of habanero adds a mellow kick. Great on Southeast Indian cuisine, grilled fish, and spring rolls. You could eat that on uh, Lee's Asian Fusion stuff if it's any good. Assuming that their stuff needed sauce added to it. I'm just saying. Whew. It is the right cuisine for it. Yeah. If you're ever in denim, go to Lee's Ace Infusion. Yeah, I actually recommended that to somebody coming to Baton Rouge recently. As you should, because that place is great. It is. A, it was a bit out of their way, though, so I don't think they If you're ever it. in Denham Springs, Louisiana, you should go to Lee's Ace Infusion. That's weird, but good. Sadly, we're about to move away. It'd be an hour away from these Asian people. That don't mean we're not going to go there like twice a month. 
It is weird. I like it though. It's very tangy. It's got salt to it. It's it's interesting. It's honestly it's a little grainy. It is grainy. Um, but that's something you should probably cook with though. Yeah, I don't, that's another one of those you're not really gonna use straight. But uh, you can definitely do some stuff with it. <sighs> this one's gonna hurt. Probably so. It says it on the thing. It's oh. gonna hurt. Well, there's a the, there's, the word ghost pepper is on the label, so. <laughs> You know, that's the thing. Ugh, anyways. Uh, we've definitely gotten stuff from this company before. I don't know if we've gotten this one. I don't think so, but I know we've gotten stuff from Fat Cat. Oh, it's Creole inspired. And it's Cat in Heat is what it's called. Ew. <laughs> what? I know what I think when you say a cat in heat. I know what normal people think when you say a cat in heat. Just read the card. This Creole inspired blend of roasted tomatoes, cilantro, and smoked paprika, paprika, ghost peppers, and jalapenos provide the heat, and chipotle chilies provide a smoky flavor. Okay, all the sauces this month have been very thick, making them much more harder to shake. Well, they have been sitting here for a bit too on their sides. True, but they're also just thick. Great on gumbo. I'm sorry, I'm dry. Let me know when you're done. I'm working on it. There we go, now I'm done. Anyways, great on gumbo, baked beans, or beef stew. They're definitely trying to go with that uh, Creole thing. All right, maybe Told you have some. thick. All three of these have been very thick. You could put this in a paste tube. You probably could. I don't want to eat it. it smells like Chipotle. It tastes mostly like Chipotle. That thing scared me for no reason. It's really not that hot. Um, it tastes mostly like Chipotle, but honestly, I don't consider that a bad thing. I love Chipotle. I will say my mouth is already kind of on fire, so it might just not be breaking through to cause more harm. Maybe. Uh, you can definitely you can taste the fire roasted tomato and the Chipotle, uh, which is a really good combination. Um, that's really good. So, do you have a favorite? Um. Honestly, probably the uh, the habanero condiment. Honestly, they were all pretty good. Other than well, one. Our least favorite, obviously, was the mole Brian threw right in the garbage can. But otherwise, they were all at least solid. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty pretty solid two months. Five out of six, not bad. Yeah. And he's got a bonus chili paste that I'm not even going to try. Chili pastes are usually meant to be used, not tasted, yeah. so I'm not going to bother. Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we do really appreciate it, and hopefully we will see you later. Bye!